You don't really no, use no, it. Snap, Snappy uses regular size shurikens. He just discus throws them. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's <laughs> pretty cool. Around. Yes. Wah! Um. So I think what I'm going to do is probably while Hammer is kind of powered down in the the uh, the cart there, I'm going to just. Uh, you know, take a little bit of time and reach over the edge of the cart and empower his hammer with, uh, I'm going to augment the energy in his hammer. So a weapon gains a plus two bonus as a free action once. An item can't uh, be in so twice. You're going eight. to fondle hammer's hammer. I am. As soon as you touch it, like my hat comes off my head and a little red light comes up. Boop, 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 and you oh, hear like an God. alarm. And I like no. Bad okay. touch detected. Bad touch detected. You have touched my weapon. Prepare to die. Oh shit, uh, Dwayne. Oh, uh, we can we can you, we can do that. No, I don't care. No, no. If you want to play it out, I don't. Uh, you know, it's all good. He's got to get so in an activity. So. All right. So basically, when you wake up, your hammer is going to have like a slight glow to it. And you, you're going to get a plus two bonus to your to any attack. Um, just you're going to have to remind me because I'm not going to remember. Yeah, next I'll try time. to. I'll try yeah. to. Alrighty. So, as you're traveling, the dwarf in the cart is, you know, trying to talk to you and trying to all of you and, you know. One of the first things he says is, You sick there, laddie? You're looking a bit green. Does he say that? Oh, is, he the, talking, is he talking to me? Couplet? He appears to be talk, He appears to be aiming in your general direction, so probably talking to you. Probably talking to the um. Dwayne looks at him like with a kind of a death stare and says, um, uh, uh, you're the one who's looking pretty green here. Uh, you know, I'm a goblin, if you haven't been able to tell. Uh, what's your deal? Oh, God, does Dwayne talk like a nerd? Oh, uh, like, I don't know. What does a nerd sound like? Yeah, man. It, so it sounds theory? like you're talking. Well, your turtle is like... <laughs> Goblin. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Dwayne rolls his eyes. Uh, your sickness is obviously uh, messed with your vision. No, Possibly that, that, vision. Would, that would be the beer. That, that would be the beer. And the ale. And whatever was in this thing. And he holds up, like, some kind of strange flask. The flask does have... The flask has some says something on it. It uh, says... It says, in common... Oil. Oil. <laughs> yes, apparently he's been drinking the uh, lantern oil. Wait, so this is supposed to be one of the professors at the college we're going to? Well, he does not appear to be the... Well, he's not all... Well, he's sick. <laughs> sick in the head. He's, he's sick not, in he's the head. Exactly, oh, damn uh, it! He's not exactly had a good couple of days. You literally yeah. said the joke as I was saying mine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be quiet because Hammer is literally just like equivalent yeah, of a sleep. Yeah, so the dwarf is looking around. You're, you're mighty, mighty pale too, m yeah, Missy. Sheena kind of looks back and it's like, yes, that's, that's just how I am. Aren't, shouldn't you be dead from drinking that oil? Nah, 
I cleaned it out before I put whatever whatever that red stuff was. Sheena's just like, oh, well, of course, dwarves are hard to kill. Uh, so how much longer do we make it to the academy? Mm. I don't know. Ask, ask the, the driver. Oh, yeah, this doesn't have a driver. Sheena's just walking along with the coach, narrowing her eyes to the dwarf. It's like, ha. Why is there a little flying sun? Basically, basically everyone, <clears throat> just in case it's not supremely obvious by now, Sheena is not a very nice person. She doesn't seem like she's out to make friends. Uh, why is a little fire, what, what's the, the fire thing flying around? Huh? You, what? You don't know about me? little thing? fire up there, there, uh, and there. I'll extinguish my flame and flip back my blonde hair. Hey. Oh, it's a pixie. Is that... I just assumed I just assumed it was some kind of willow wisp. Is that a What's with the Hey, you're not a bug, are you? Nope, I'm a pixie. Sheena kind of grimaces and groans okay. audibly. What kind of bug is a foot tall? <laughs> what, you haven't seen Fae bugs? The dwarf no, baby looks, say that at, I have. looks at the uh, what he's been drinking, just kind of puts it down, and just kind of, you know. Does he take the bottle, throw it aside, blink, and say, I'll never drink again? Whatever that was, I'm not having any more of it. At least not today. Does his hat fly out of his off of his head as he sa sees something strange? Nah, he's not wearing a hat. You do see he has a little horned helmet near his uh near near him, but he isn't wearing it. So. Sheena's just like, it's like, it's like, please, Ion, don't place me in a class where this clown is my teacher. Uh, and pretty much most of the rest of the journey goes in white silence. All right, so does he go back to sleep then? He appears to at least be trying to. Trying to sleep? Is he kind of like in and out? It's more... It's not a very, uh... You know, you, you know, ride on the back and stuff. He gets kind of asleep, and then there's a bump. Can I have it be canon that when... You know, at, people, you know, talk in their sleep, but Hammer, like, makes the uh, 56k modem sound in his sleep? <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. Not a, well, it's not sleep, I know, but weird, whatever you want. He can make some weird sound when he's resting occasionally. Or I'm sending a fax, it sounds like. I love it. that sound when AOL actually connects <sighs> to something. You've got mail! Or when I wake up, it's the Apple startup sound. Don. No, he's more advanced than that. Oh. <laughs> Corso, abacuses are kind of more. Now that than that does lead you to a question. Since I'm an AI, I would know that I'm a robot. Can I change my own programming? Is that um, technically like? Genetic engineering, but for robots? Hmm. Maybe, maybe if you, you haven't learned that skill yet, at least. Maybe that's, could be, maybe that's when you level up, that's what happens. 
Yeah, you could probably there's probably ways to add functionality or to alter your uh, start some of your. Uh, well, I was thinking more like, can I make my accent Australian, <laughs> or maybe like Canadian? A. Eh? Um, well, you know, you, anyone can do that. You just pretend. What is love? <laughs> Me no understand. <laughs> what is love, baby? Don't oh. hurt me. We should make up a we should make up a list of twenty accents, and then once per day, I get to change my accent to whatever the role t- the t- the twenty sided tells me. I like it. And that's anyway. It's what so. you be one of them. It's just what clicks or something like that. <laughs> I don't want to be as, too racist about it. As you co- go over co- over the crest of a hill, you see in the distance... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, go ahead. See in the distance <laughs> a, uh, a small village, and on a hill just beyond it, a large building. Kind of castle-like, but also kind of... Temple like, and it's big. And it appears to have several, uh, you know, other buildings in its area and around it that appear to be probably parts of its uh, complex. Cool. Hey, Andrew, as we're coming up to this, is the dwarf next to me still kind of dozing off and just kind of. You know, he, not he looking to trying, too good. He appears to be trying to do so. He, well, I'm just thinking that Dwyan, you know, dwyan has been sitting next to him for a long time, pretty bored. Yes, so I, has, you know, all the his, braids in his beard have been his, basically... His goblin curiosity might get the best of him, and he might try to just maybe see what this dwarf has in his pockets next to him. Um, can I make a thievery check to see if I can... Okay, try and, nope. try and see. All right, I'm going to try. All right. With the way I've been rolling, it, it's probably not good. Oh, actually, I rolled really well. You've got what appears to be... You found something. I just have to Is this... out what you found. Is this at the, the gates, or is this while we're on the trip? This is while we're on the trip. Oh, okay. Yeah. We on basically gets up the courage, enough courage, and, you know, gets in the right, you know, finds the right time to do it, like, I'd say, right about when, uh, just shortly before the hill. Well, Snappy, so, Snappy has a couple things he wants to do on the trip before we get there. Okay, well... We'll, we'll resolve uh, Dwyan's uh, thing real okay. quick. Uh, you find what appears to be, let's say, a... A small, like, um, bag. What? A small what? small bag. A bag. A small bag. Is there... Actually, you see two of them, and you find you feel around, and there's like two of them in his in that pocket, but or that that uh, you know, pouch. But you pit, pull out one of them. This pouch doesn't have like two ball-like items in it, does it? No, it doesn't have any balls. No, it's not that kind of pouch. It actually has two. It has two small you know, bags. Pull one out. It appears to be something interesting. So, roll me a Arcana check, baby. Okay. I will do that. Oh, Chris. Because you yeah. asked for it, you got it. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's for Justin, roll D, yeah. Roll a d20 and gain an accent. One, regular. Two, British. Three, French. Four, Italian. Five, Russian. Six, Irish. Seven, Scottish. Eight, g- generic Asian. Nine, <laughs> oh, Indian. Gener- 
Yeah. 10, Native American Indian. 11, Swedish. 12, Southern. 13, Boston. 14, Pirate. 15, Cockney. 16, Surfer. 17, Tommy Wiseau. 18, Peter Laurie. 19, Elvis. 20, a combination. Roll 2D20. Additional 20 adds another accent. I, I reserve the right to swap out some of these. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. The Swedish pirate, Swedish pirate Elvis. Yes. <laughs> like that's not gonna be easy. You asked for it. Now you, there's your bed. Now lie in it. All right. We'll see how so, this goes. Uh, we've, uh, so yeah. Uh, maybe. So I passed an easy goal. check. I passed an easy check if I... You know. yeah, it's probably magical, though you can't really tell what kind. What's it look What's it look like? It looks like a small little drawstring bag. little bag made of, like, a thin, like, leather with, like, a tie around it. But there's something inside of it? Probably. Well, I, of course I open it up. All righty, then. I need to find. So basically, this is what happens. It's, as you open it, splat. As you're covered in a strange, gooey, uh, glue like substance. Okay, that hits me. It hits anything of mine. Yes, you have been. You have just opened a Tanglefoot bag. Nice. And it's no longer useful. You're also kind of stuck where you're at. Sheena hears a commotion from the back of the wagon. She looks around and is like, what in the world? Ugh, it's the goblin. What did you do now? Uh, I don't know. This thing just... Uh, this, the, uh, I sat down in, on this bag and it uh, blew up and look at me now. I'm all covered in this goop. I'm yes. going to make an archon check just to see if I know what this is. <laughs> Go for it. 20. Yeah, it's a Tanglefoot bag. Or it was a Tanglefoot bag until it exploded into the goblin's face. Sheena That's just right. kind of face palms like, That's clearly a Tanglefoot bag. Why would you open that thing while it's pointed at your face? I didn't. I sat on it. All right. I can do a deception roll like that. So, what does Snappy want to do on the journey? Snappy wants to do two jokes, two pranks. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, first, Snappy is going to fly over to the dwarf once he's pretty sure the dwarf's asleep. Yeah. And throw just enough pixie dust on his beard and mustache so that his hair floats upward. Okay. Um, I'm guessing stealth or thievery? Mm. Probably thievery. Thievery, yeah. Thievery. You're trying to get it in the right spot, and that uh, thievery's closest thing to that. 5 plus 11 is 16. Alrighty. You get his mustache and most of his beard. Well, you get the ones... You get, like, you know, mo pretty much, like, the right side of his mustache... And the rest of his beard. And it basically All starts right. kind of floating around. And since it is braided, it kind of looks like he's got like these weird hairy tentacle things flying around, <laughs> wandering around. Yes. Just now, as intended. Now, once that and, was successful. And, you know, and, yeah. and after, after just a few seconds of that, he's like, ah. Uh, 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 what, 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 what? <laughs> By Morden's gray, great hairy beard. What? Uh, what By Morden's hairy balls. What, what is going? What's going on? Uh, just kind of <laughs> sleep falls back to sleep. And then. Since that has worked, I'm going to fly up behind Hammer, who went in his little deactivation mode. Yeah. He's on, pull he's out, on standby. Pull out 
a piece of chalk, which I do have in my inventory. And on the back of his head, I'm going to draw a grumpy face. Since he is metallic, I should be able to draw on that. <laughs> I like it. All right. Uh, Dwayne gives you the thumbs up. Now which... this. Oh, yeah. It's probably thievery, too. You're trying to do it just right. So it doesn't wake him up. Or, you know, Nine plus 11. 20 total. Nice. All right. You get a nice, good, grumpy face there. <laughs> he does not seem to have noticed. I'll turn the dewey on. Shh. We'll just leave it there. And, oh, about, yeah, this, and about this time is when Dweon got, you know, has his exploding uh, you know, <laughs> bag. I'll run back to sit down. Alrighty. So, you've come over the hill. You find, see a small town with what must be the uh, school ahead of you. Your, you know, driverless carriage continues on toward, to the school and stops by the front, uh, what must be the front doors. As you, uh, are, uh, and there, it, you are greeted by what appears to be, it was, must be one of the teachers. Ho you, at least you hope it's one of the teachers. Well, maybe you don't hope it's one of the teachers. You hope it's like a janitor or something. You see, you're greeted by a half orc with this half orc has these uh, you know, has these long kind of dreadlocks. The hair that they're made out of could probably be any color, really. Considering that they look like they, they and the same can be said for his clothes. They could be any color, too. Because, yeah, that's a lot of grime and dirt and stuff. I think we should probably just leave it there. And like once he introduces himself or something, because it's, right. it's ten o'clock right now. So yeah, true. We'll we'll finish up here in a couple minutes. And he uh, says, "Well, looks like we have another new uh, another new group." Well, come along. Um, Dwayne jumps out. He's trying to clean off this gunk that's on him. Um, and he says, Oh, yes, uh, man, a good sir there. Uh, can you grab my bag? It's right over here. This one right here. This duffel bag right here. Uh, He's hammer directing us at the half elk. Hammer jumps down, the... grabs grabs his bag, and throws it at him. You throw the bag at me? Oh, yeah. I I'm like, what? I thought this guy was gonna help me with the bag. Pull your own weight. Do we unrolls his eyes? Whatever, grumpy face. Which makes it even better because I'm walking away. Exactly. <laughs> he yells at uh, after him, Professor Stein. Professor, get your uh, go get go get your uh, get, get some go to the you know, hospital wing. Get something for that. The feast will be starting soon. Let me get there. And. Yeah, we'll leave it there. As we walk okay, through cool. the gates to Hog Nipple College. Hog Nipple College. No, Swine Nipples. Swine Nipple College, sorry. Alrighty. Any last things you want to say before we shut up? So finish up. I I swear to God, if I don't get like some sort of like charm of better rolling or something. 
Yeah, you need like Lucky Charm or something to just. Yeah. I got one good roll from my. The, I hit like I had one good roll the whole time. Which means next time you'll crit five times. And I would love crit to. The rest. All right. Also, so Andrew, are we level two now? No. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not, not level. We're not level two because we're level three. Dun, 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 dun. Yay! Anyway, also, I, I totally two. just threw a hammer in Snappy. What? Up at the top. Yay! Oh. Yay! All righty. And actually, All right, cool. one last thing. Yep. We will have a common room eventually. So I might as well let you see it. You have a chance. Oh, cool. wow. Hey, this looks nice, Andrew. Did you make yeah, this? I or did... Yeah, I basically pieced together some stuff. Cool. I claim this. This is all mine. Nope. <laughs> okay, Basically, I claim you this will then. Get a bedroom. I claim this then. No. Anyways. So yeah. Wait, there's only two bedrooms. Are we sh are we bunking there are with four, four bedrooms? Two. Yeah, I only see there's two. two sections with you know Oops. outer areas. And oh, I didn't see the other side of the map. Sorry. Yeah, it's a big map. <laughs> yeah. It's a fairly yeah, big map. Yeah, I see it. All right, good. Because I was scared we were going to have to bunk with people, which would be really cool for drama's sake. But I'd be kind of scared of who I'd have to room with with this group. You you room with Sheena, and Sheena's got a big long staff. Yeah, I know. So she, See, that's that, that I, knew, I knew that's what changelings were. I knew it. All of a sudden, from ten feet away, a staff just goes whoosh, whoosh, right into your eye. <laughs> All righty. Anything else? Oh, I got my beard. Do you want to say goodbye to the non-existent uh, listeners so far? <laughs> goodbye, listeners. Yeah, sure. yeah. Bye, Bye, listeners. To the Good one person that's watching, which is actually me. Bye.